Hi everyone. Hello, it's me. I'm back. How are you all doing? Excuse the state of my hands. I've been doing some inking and um, a bit of crafting today. Uh, right, what have I bought this week? Just bear with me and I'll get the bits for you now. First thing I bought was, I've, I've done quite a lot actually. Oh, I found the, the tissue. Remember I said about the napkins last week? Um, I found the other ones. These were from, um, not sure where they were from. They were from Etsy, but well, I'll find the link and I'll put them, or it could have been eBay. I'm not sure. But you've got, um, it was just a job lot mixture of them, which were really nice. I uh, love that one with the peacocks. So I just got, um, I think it was 12 in a pack, but I can't remember how much they were. So I'm going to, anything I buy now, I'm going to write down the prices so I can tell you and where I got them from. That's a beautiful one there. Um, some of them are lovely and some of them are, I'm not quite, not quite so struck with, but I think these would be nice in the, when the summer comes because they're beautiful sunflowers, aren't they? Me like them. Beautiful bird one. Bird cages. Yeah, they're all the same. But I like I really like that one. Um, this one's beautiful as well. I really like that. Um, I just picked a mixture. I mean there was a few in there that weren't I weren't as keen on. I really like these. The be beautiful butterflies. Um that's like watercolour pansies. Those are gorgeous. These are nice as well. This is watercolours. I like those. Um, that one as well. It's gorgeous. Um, I've already used a bit of this, but I can't remember what I used it on now. But I've used a piece of that. But I like, I love, love that one as well. Um, this is just another one that I'm not that keen on, but I would still use it for decoupaging. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 12, pack of 12. The thing is, is that you will get ones that you like, ones that you don't like, but um, I just wanted a mixture. I didn't want to buy a whole pack of some of them. So some I've not had a lot of in, in the past is napkins. So I'm really happy with those. So yeah, um, it was a pack of 12 mixed ones. I can't remember where I got them from, um, but I will. I'll, I'll try and do better going forward. So this week I bought, what did I buy? I bought some Sizzix Thinlets for my new uh, die, die cutting machine. This is the one, the Tim Holtz one. Uh, I think I cut some out somewhere. So it's, this is what it cuts with the label, like so. So, um, where did I put them? They cut out really nice and you can put them in your journals then you just slot slot little bits bits and pieces in. And I cut them out in let me just check what I did with those. If I got rid of them or not. I might have used them actually. And memento. Yeah, I cut them out. I decoupaged I decoupaged some um paper and then I cut them out so that they were already decorated rather than just doing them in plain brown card craft card so yeah I really like those I didn't realize that this actually just cuts the piece out of out of the card but what I did is I cut some out and then I actually cut round them so cut round them like that and I thought you could use that you could use that for stenciling as well couldn't you as a I know it's a paper I know it's paper but it's still stenciling so that was that one um and I cut that one out as well and I can't remember what I put it in what I've put what have I put that in oh I put it in my Valentine's journal which is now nearly finished ladies and gentlemen so I'll be doing a a, a flip a run through of this one now that it's nearly done I think it actually is done I just got to do a run through of it so where did I put it I used it as a corner tuck somewhere uh, 
there so there I cut it I cut it out and then cut round it and then I um what did I use on that that gold stuff that what's, what's it called inker gold or whatever in pink so that doesn't make a lot of sense does it but I'm going to do a run through this all right um that will be the next video I do I'm going to try and stop saying um because I keep seem to be saying um all the time right then so this one here cuts into the paper but I, as I say you can cut around it as well and cut it out like I did there and I did with that one so I was a bit I was a bit um I see I'm saying um again sorry I was a bit taken back by that but never mind we learn we learn by our learn don't we it's too late now because uh, I've already bought it I got a uh, Sizzix Biggs in the heart shapes love the Sizzix Biggs I bought this on I think it was Amazon or eBay one of the two anyway I got it for £10 and it cuts out so I can cut out material see and make little hearts as well with that and I really like the shape of that it's called Primitive Hearts so I really like the shape of that one. So I got that one. That one was £10. I also bought a couple of weeks ago. I didn't buy it this week. I bought this a couple of weeks ago and I forgot to show you. There's Tim Holtz uh, stamps. Uh, they stamp out gorgeous. I've stamped. I've used a couple. It cost me £20 in Hobbycraft. Um, but they are amazing. They're amazing stamps. If I show you some I stamped with... with just stamped it out just now with tissue paper. Show you. But they, these are the ones, the Tim Holt ones. Tim Holt's ones, the Stampers Anonymous. And they stamp out lovely. I've used some other stamps that I've had a while. Just stamped out some tissue upside down. Stamps out, stamped out some tissue paper cause to use. So I just got white tissue paper from Hobbycraft and then I'm going to stamp my own paper with it. This was just a, a trial run. So I've been having a bit of a play with that. The other thing I got on eBay were some of these. They were about £2 something. £2.60 I think. It's just a, two rows of the white little mini roses which are really nice. You can dye them. Um, I just got white so I could just colour them whatever colour I wanted. I could have got them off AliExpress but... They would have been a lot cheaper, but then you'd have had to wait up to four to six weeks. And I think there's, they're having problems with park packages coming out of China and that at the moment because of the coronavirus, is it? Don't quote me on that because <coughs> I might not be right. I could be wrong about that. Definitely could be wrong. And I also got, this was only a single row of the these ones. I, they're so pretty. Love them. I thought it's only yours, but how many little roses are you going to need at one time? I mean, they were a couple of quid. I could have got a lot more on AliExpress, but as I say, I'd rather buy it from English buyers and, and get it in a couple of days. Do you know what I mean? Free postage, £2.65 or something like that they were, but I think they're gorgeous. So that was those. What else did I buy? Oh, I bought some safety pins because I, want, I saw um, a video... Siobhan, who is Pearl and Button, did some rusted some safety pins. So I thought, oh, I wouldn't mind giving that a go. I don't know how to do it, mine, so I have to do some research. I just she just showed it on Instagram, I think it was. Uh, some rusted she'd rusted some sewing safety pins. So I got I saw the safety pins and I thought I wouldn't mind giving that a go. I, obviously I'll have to do some research and find out how you do it. But yeah, I like the idea. I also got I got them from Aldi's from Aldi's today this sewing kit it is got jeans needles universe needles jersey which are jersey needles I know they're in generic ones but it's got a quick unpick some pins some tailor's chalk a roller you know to mark mark out your rows some pins some thimbles a quick unpick and a tape measure and that was 2 which I thought was a bargain. So 
I'm going to be putting this some of this stuff oh and there's a needle threader as there some of this stuff I will be putting away because I, in, it won't be long before I'll be doing a giveaway so I want I will I will do it as a hidden giveaway because I don't want people just subscribing and then when they've when the when it's over they just unsubscribe because I just want people to be on my channel that and subscribe to me and watch my videos because they want to not because they think you know I'm not I'm not speaking bad of people because I don't want to do that I don't want to cause like upset to anyone but I'm I'm going to be purchasing little bits and pieces like this and you'll see them in my you'll see them in my shopping halls uh and but a lot of it will be put put away for the giveaway this is another thing I got which was really cute I think it was $1.99 or $2.99 and it's some little it's just a little stationery set it's got a couple of erasers it's got some really nice uh paper clips some bulldog clips some little what are they called fluorescent markers and a pad yeah so i got that one in oldies as well that was really nice i also got this while i was while i was there it was 4.99 as a tablecloth it's quite a big piece of material i really like i really like the fabric so i won't be using it as a tablecloth because obviously i haven't got a table uh let me take that off and i'll show you it's really big but what a lovely fabric it's really nice fabric so obviously i don't just do journals you know i do a bit of everything i really like um sewing and i thought what that would be perfect that would be perfect either on a journal cover and it would be perfect to make something maybe a, a tote bag which i've seen some of the ladies doing on the group they've been making tote bags uh any anything like that so it's just a bit of fabric it's quite a lot of fabric for 4.99 to put in my stash so i really like that they had lots of different patterns but this is the one i like the best so it was 4.99 and it was 130 by 160 centimeters i got the square one because i just figured that you you can use more than getting the because they had round ones and they had square ones or well, rectangles so i got the rectangle one and uh, it's really really soft material so i really like that idea and a little bit goes a long way and for 4.99 you ain't going to get that you ain't going to get that in a lot of places it's really good quality cotton as well so me likes it me likes it my voice is all gone <sighs> tony's thrilled i've lost my voice right what else did i buy oh I think it's one more thing when I was leaving shopping today in Aldi's I said Lidl's tonight Lidl sorry uh they've got a wait let me show you the spring them over they have a book a book bin where people come in and bring their their books in to donate them for a, ch a Bristol charity I think it's a children's children's charity and they asked for a pound book and when i walked up i saw all these red books all the same and i thought i wonder what they are so they are british encyclopedia volumes they're small books they're only let me see where's my measuring thing <laughs> they're quite small they measure seven and a half by four and four and four and three quarters ish but I, ha I got the whole lot I got obviously I put um they cost me 12 12 pounds but each book was a pound but someone had donated them in the bin and they were all in there and they I don't think they've been there long and I was like, please let them. I didn't know. I didn't know if they were all there. I just bought them. So that's Encyclopedia and British uh, the Dictionary. There's Dictionary and Encyclopedias. So, what did we have? Two Dictionary ones. So these are the Encyclopedias. There's one, two, three. 
Christmas of dictionaries, two dictionaries and a whole set of the encyclopedias. And they are from, look, aren't they gorgeous? What gorgeous books. Oh, I'm going that way around. They're not in order. Yeah, so I got all those for £12. What do you think of that then? Lovely, isn't they? What a lovely set. What won't they look lovely on the shelf? Tony thinks I've gone mad. Um, and they are, I'll tell you now. They are copyrighted for all. Who did tell me? Copyright. 1933 so they're from 1933 they're perfect there's the condition of them is fantastic for 1933 i thought i love the pages love the color of the pages and the inside they're lovely and yellow as well so what a bargain so i thought if all else fails i can they make a, a great talking point and if all else fails i can use them as journal covers but it would be a sacrilege really wouldn't it but never mind i'll get over it but yeah a pound each what a bargain love them absolutely love them i mean the, the spine and they've got a little tiny bit of wear it's like they've been on someone's shelf for since they were made but yeah aren't they gorgeous gorgeous love some love some love some and there was the whole set of encyclopedias and there was two, the whole set, the English dictionaries. There, I'll show you. A to MAT, and then there was MAT to ZYM. Those two, so I'm a lucky girl. I'm really, really pleased with them. So that was my most shopping trip this week. Uh, see what I get next week. Every week's not going to be lots of things, but it's surprising what you pick up during the week. And, uh, so that was my my bestest buys of the week i will be doing a journal flip flip through i've also started another one um i'm gonna do um how i did the cover i'm gonna do that on film i'm gonna i know it takes a while because uh these things they don't they don't dry it really really quick either so what i'll do is i'll do uh the journal cover and then I'll show you the one that I've already made so that'll be easier way around it won't it so I'm getting started on another journal I've also got other projects in line as well so it's not just going to be journal 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 so don't worry about that uh I yeah I think that's it ladies and gentlemen wish me luck with rust and me safety pins see how that turns out I don't even know what you've got to do yet I just saw the race uh, safety pins and I thought Oh, it depends I'll give that a go so yeah I will be doing a giveaway soon as well um, I'm gonna be uh, setting up a really 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 nice um, package to give away and I'll let you know more about it in a in due course we'll say that shall we so I hope you're all well I hope you've all had a lovely week I've had a great week um, getting back into my craft in um in fact i haven't come out of my room for two two days so i just thought i'd pop along and say hi to everyone i've had a couple of extra new subscribers as well and i want to say thank you very much for joining and to my ever so ever so um oh what's the word oh god my brain's gone i just want to say thank you to my normal my already subscribers old and new everybody's welcome thank you for supporting me and i'm get sending you all the love so i just want to say i love you all Mwah! see you later folks bye for now bye bye bye